Hey everybody, it's a long time no talk. <clears throat> I am Chase Petit J. I'm giving you an astrological and energetic update. Today is July 19th, 2024. I felt like doing this because the energies of the times are pretty wild and I wanted to bring some uh, feminine perspective and to bring some positive uh, energetics to everything that's going on right now because it's intense. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about, we're talking about the full moon on July 21st. It is a full moon in Capricorn, um, which means the sun is in cancer. Um, it's the last degree of Capricorn. And the thing that's about this full moon that's pretty powerful is that it's one degree conjunct Pluto. It's almost exact. Pluto is the Lord of the underworld. It is the Lord of death and rebirth. It, it rules our shadow, our deepest wounding. It rules the parts of ourselves that we do not necessarily know how to access, but when we do access, we transform. It can relate to extreme amounts of power, extreme amounts of control over others, and also the simultaneous release of that control. So Pluto is an archetype that when it's you know it, in this astrology chart it's just a p and i always say pluto stands for power because it really is the densest energy in mainstream astrology of where our power is and it's always in the shadow energies the things that are underground the dark matter which where we're at in the current times with this splitting of consciousness from 3D to 5D, from the spiritual awakening and ascension that is happening all over the planet, but especially in America, um, to deny the shadow during a spiritual awakening, it's like one will only go deeper into a darker depth, if that makes sense. I, the thing I've been talking a lot about um, in my spiritual group I lead is that there's a syntropy and entropy timeline going on here. So syntropy meaning, um, you know, things are going up into an alignment space, entropy where they are dissolving into a chaotic space, okay? And those two things are actually happening simultaneously. It's a simultaneous thing that's going on right now. Where and how, which direction uh, we go in individually uh, is based on where we, we are, where we are focusing and what we are allowing ourselves to how we are tr tr how we are moving with these energies are we allowing them in are we transforming with them are we fighting them out of fear the collective fear body is extremely high right now so anybody that's very very sensitive you are feeling it because it's constricted and it's contracted. It almost kind of feels like COVID again a little bit where people are on edge. They're in feeling terror. They're feeling afraid. Um, a lot of uh, election economy. You know, America is going through its Pluto return, which happens once every 248 years. And America, the country, is going through its Pluto return. Which means that this country is dying and being rebirthed. Now, it doesn't happen to us, it happens through us. If you wanna reclaim your shadow and reclaim your power, remember that. It doesn't happen to us, it happens through us, which means that takes away the pointing of the finger, it takes away pointing the finger at everything, at systems of government, other peoples, and puts it back on the cells and back on the self and says, this energy is not simply happening outside of me, it's happening inside of me. It's happening to me, it's happening through me. And when you start to acknowledge that it's happening through you, you start to remember that you are part of a, of a, of a larger guiding energy and force that is helping this the energetics of this planet to to ascend or descend so taking responsibility for our energy the most important thing right now it's and it's not easy it's not easy okay we're human we're not perfect okay but we all have to hear this stuff because it helps but 
for empaths and sensitive ones, people into astrology, the most important thing one can do right now is to protect and, and cultivate and strengthen your energetic field, which means staying in your own energy and holding that vibration. And I, what I have found in this, you know, whatever environment we're in here in America right now, currently, there's so many people that are so disillusioned that that is actually starting to happen. There's a breaking off and that is creating the 5D energetics. The 3D to 5D is a paradigm shift. It, you can call it 3D to 5D. You can call it fear to love. You can call it ascension of consciousness, awakening of consciousness. Whatever you want to call it, that's what's going on right now. And it has to do with massively old power structures that are outdated and hierarchical, meaning they are still basing themselves on the shadow energies of the United States, which a lot of them are based in enslavement. Enslavement, the basic bottom line of it is hierarchy. One person at the top, others at the bottom, right? one person having the power or two people having the power having power over everyone else they are not able to share power they are not able to look at the greater good they are greedy and they're operating in fear this is what keeps the capitalist system going this is what keeps the uh, denial of nature and humanity going this is what where the denial of the divine feminine comes in um this is how we get just get separated from our spirits because religion also is innately patriarchal okay religion is innately patriarchal i believe the word patriarchy actually comes from religion religion i think it's a christian word i don't know i think it is um but so it's innately you know religious orders these hierarchical old structures and pluto is retrograding right now so it's going backwards which means it's going back into um and it's at zero degrees aquarius it's about to go back into capricorn which is all about hierarchy and control and power so these are just things to rem remember and to highlight if you're sensitive you're not crazy okay if you're going through a hard time right now you're not nuts remember that we are on an we are on an ascension timeline and there is going to be two worlds that will be simultaneously existing one that is evolving into absolute alignment and one that is devolving into absolute chaos okay if you are sense if you are spiritual and you are in tune with these kinds of truths you are on the ascending timeline okay so becoming aware of the energetics the contractions and the expansions because the truth is is that healing is a spiral healing is a spiral and birth is a spiral everything in our universe is a spiral right we are spirals we are in the galaxy that is a spiral like everything is a spiral and the spiral comes back around and then goes further out. It comes back around to the same point and goes further out every time. And so it may seem like <clears throat> we are regressing, but we're not. We're in a contraction period. This is how birth works. This, anybody who's ever given birth knows this is how someone giving birth, this is how it operates. It contracts and expands, comes back in, expands some more comes back in expands some more and it's uncomfortable it's painful it hurts you don't know how long it's gonna last you want it to end I think I think that's what birth's like but that's what's going on right now it's the birth of a new consciousness it's the birth of a new world and it's happening through all of us so the way through a lot of this especially because of this plutonic the plutonic energy of of this full moon and also the uranus conjunct mars energy that's also going on which adds a whole other element of intensity um i mean really you have these are the most intense archetypes you know meaning life-changing awakening like probing deep 
this full moon is going to hit on the collective psyche, the collective shadow. It's going to hit on the collective psyche of the and the collective darkness. It's also going to hit whenever you hit the shadow, you hit the light. So if y'all are doing your work and you're excavating hidden, hidden, hidden darkness, hidden wounds, hidden, hidden self. You know, a lot of us are growing out of old patterns right now. We're opening up to love. We're moving out of deep wounding and we're moving into self-compassion and self-love. Um, that's happening right now. That's how it's happening through us. That's the 3D to 5D. The old, a lot of us are still carrying trauma from the old system from patriarchy, from religion, from the death of the divine feminine. The, the, I mean, you can, you what, in slavery? I mean, it all hits us differently on each individual level. We are all, every single person in this country is traumatized by this method, by, by the shadow of America. And it's all coming out now. And so it's going to be coming out and how this energy has played out in our own lives. But also if it's looked at, released, seen, allowed to be, light is brought to it and therefore it transforms. You know, Carl Jung is the one who, who, who created the, the entire uh, idea of the shadow, right? And, you know, a lot of what he... You know, he basically is like, it's the force inside of ourselves when not accessed that runs our world. It runs our psyche. So a lot of what's going on right now is people are who are ruling this planet, which nobody really has an, any rulership over us unless we give them that power. Unless we're completely like, you know, enslaved by them. Even then there is something inside that doesn't have to give them power. But... Um, I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> so it's moving out of the slave energetic mindset. Oh yeah, the Carl Jung piece. So that, you know, our shadow is this part of ourselves that it's running on subconscious. There's these wounded parts of ourselves. There's these parts of ourselves that we don't know how to handle because they're so painful. We stuff them down. We don't bring any light to them. What happens is that dark matter is the most powerful potent energy of you and it runs the ship it runs your behaviors your motives your relationships it runs your, your subconscious runs your conscious self so until you make the dark the darkness light until you bring the subconscious conscious you will always be controlled by by a force outside of yourself and a lot of that is because you're we're afraid we're afraid because of our trauma we're locked up right but what's happening right now is those portals those portals are opening everything's opening these the, the light is getting brought to the shadows and through that process it is transforming so i have seen this in organizations i have seen this in humans all around me including myself the levels at which this is happening is is bar none. It is not it is not a joke. It is not small. This is happening on many levels right now. And it's very 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 powerful. So in terms of this moon and the power because what happens is when you bring light to darkness, <clears throat> like the, I just even think about it. Electricity is the power on, right? Is the power, we lost power, right? Pluto is power. Bringing light to darkness is power. That is power. So it's, and it's the Pluto archetype at its lower form is power over others, power to control and dominate, hierarchy, old enslavement energies, right? Control. Pluto in its highest is about power within the self, meaning 
the how not it's that so when people are controlling others they're basing themselves in fear and they're trying to hold something constricted they're trying to hold the shadow in pluto at, it, pluto at its highest isn't afraid of its shadow it releases it releases the 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 fear and allows the light in um when the light comes in it transforms the darkness and with that when you bring light to dark you literally transform things so they will never go back to the way they were no matter how hard any organization any person anything keeps trying to keep things hidden once the light is brought to it it is forever changed so and that is power turning the lights on is power so if you're feeling triggered or you're feeling intense or you're feeling sad or you're feeling unsure or you're feeling like i don't know things are really difficult for you or you're just feeling really afraid i challenge you to go into that fear look at it sit at an altar open yourself up to spirit offer it offer your pain to god the universe cosmic consciousness love whatever you want to call it offer it speak the things inside of you that you dare not utter to anyone open yourself bring light to the darkness inside of you bless it give it over to a force of love ask for help ask for guidance feel it remember its origins bring love and light to it but the thing about shadow work that's really important is that you have to have humility with it there must be humility so there must be you cannot have too much stubbornness or ego or arrogance because you have to have be vulnerable and have humility to access that's what keeps our shadows locked up is when we have a lot of if we when we have a lot of ego and pride so the humility piece is is very key to the shadow process and really we need more everyone needs more humility right it's not necessarily an easy thing to have humility these days when there's so much divisiveness and fear everybody thinks they're right when you think you're right you're not you don't have humility <laughs> you know believe me <laughs> i know <laughs> but yeah just remember that you can reclaim your power uh on this full moon you can reclaim it by turning the lights on bringing light to the dark allowing it to be seen and blessing it all right so that's my little shadow talk for this um this day and i bless you all stay in the high vibe stay in love remember all of this is happening through us not to us own that own this change that we're going through here on this planet it's not about just Donald Trump and whatever, <laughs> the environment and the economy. We are that. So taking the finger and bringing it back to the self is the best and most powerful work any human can do right now to shift the paradigm and the consciousness, which will shift the materiality of our country. So doing, asking the self, how is this happening through me? Honoring it and beginning to allow one's, beginning to instill oneself with more faith, and trust and love and the universe. Cause that love is the most powerful force in this universe. And whenever there's this much shadow or darkness, there's equally just as much love. And that's what we're moving into 5Ds, paradox, able to, allowing those two things to simultaneously exist. Anyway, all right. I
can go on and on, but that's what I have to say today. All right. I love you guys. Happy full moon.